Hello YouTube, on today's adventure we're going to be installing a snorkel. Yes, that's right, a snorkel, the long-awaited snorkel video. Um, with me I have my brother named Junior, right here. Hi, Mike. I have my buddy named Dennis, right there. Beardless buddy. And they're going to be helping, helping me out. Junior's going to be taking over my spot and drilling into my truck because I have uh, messed up fingers, so... Yeah, and then that's it. And then that's just, it. Just, just that's it. After that, there's nothing more. Let's get to it, guys. No more car parts. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so we are now driving to my favorite place in the world, Harbor Freight Tool. I got my brother Junior, and I got Dennis with me. Another one of my favorite places is AutoZone. So we are here because we need to get um, sealer. sealer. Yep, we need sealer. That's what we need to get. So we will see if they have sealer. And then I was thinking of doing an oil change, but. I'm just thinking. Yeah, <laughs> just thinking. <laughs> That's not logical thinking either. That's just thinking. <laughs> Guys, what's up? So we got the silicone stuff that we needed. And then Junior already had a taste of it. So he's not feeling too good. But yeah, I love this AutoZone. Goodbye, AutoZone. You guys are the best. There, goodbye. Goodbye, AutoZone. That's seriously, that's like my, I love that store. That's like my favorite AutoZone. So Connor and all you other people out there that are gonna be watching this, and I know you are. Yeah, thank you for being cool. That's why I drive this long distance all the way to this AutoZone. It's literally like a, 30 minutes away from my my other autos. I could literally I could get out of my house and then walk to an auto zone, but I like this one because this one's a hell of a lot better. Drive into the sunlight. Bye auto zone. Look at that, that's nice out. Look at that. It's like you got the little sun right there setting. It's cool looking. Everything's melting. That means that we are just right around the corner for off-road season and I still have a bunch of stuff to do, like a bunch of stuff to do. So we will hope and pray that we will have enough time to 
get everything that I want to get here. Jeep. 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 We're gonna cut her off. We cut her off. She's pissed. She's waving her fists at me. She's cussing. She's, she's holding up a banner that says the F word. <laughs> So today we're gonna to be removing this light here which is held on by only this one screw. That way we can get to the OEM air duct behind the fender so that's right about there. Well, let's get started. That slides out this way. Yep, just rip those, just cut the cords? Yeah, just, yeah, just cut just, the cords. Just cut them right now. It doesn't work. It's not working, I don't know what to do. Now we're going to remove this right over here. So that's the air duct that we're gonna need to take off. That's why we took the light out. So we can get to that air duct. Junior, do your thing. All right, so the air duct is being held on by two bolts. There's one up here and there's one back there. So we're gonna get to the one up front first. That one right there, and then you got another that one right in there. Hidden over there. There's that. For that one, we are going to need a wrench. Are you gonna show us where the wrenches are? I'm trying to get to this little bolt right here. It's kind of hidden in there. Now he's trying to pull off You can do it! You can do it! Not to be pissed. Not to be pissed of it. Okay, so there's right, that. And then there's another piece. Smells, smells healthy. There's another piece? Yeah, it might be easier if you grab it from here. There's not. There's leaves in there, dude. Yeah, that, that's a ton of leaves. Look at that. Look at that. It's like filled with leaves. Healthy. Like, look in there. Look at that. There you go. If that doesn't do it, then. Beautiful. Look at that. There's leaves in there. Dang, that's a lot of leaves. So now that we got that figured out, we're going to place some masking tape right about here and take it over to the bench. Now we're gonna pretty much just trace around where the hole should be for the snorkel, so. So you're gonna, gonna, you're gonna think that this is gonna be good? Let's hope so. Well, if you. Like that, let me pick it up a little bit and bring it towards you. You can all see that Junior was. Never the artist in the family. Mm -hmm. Nope, none of that. That's Dennis, what do you think about this? I think something will happen. Yeah, do you think it's going to be better for <laughs> fuel economy? Probably with all that airflow going down <laughs> with that snorkel. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure, it's just a downforce, man. The right. <laughs> Prius won't stand a chance to this. So we went to Harbor Freight and got this carbon steel hole saw set. It's pretty fancy. This is also an unboxing video. Inside are all the goodies. There's all these, all these. a three inch one. Three inch. That's the three inch one. Yep, that's three inches right here. Junior just has really small hands. <laughs> <laughs> just <makes> <laughs> <laughs> right. so 
Yep, we're... Let's put a three and a half. Which one is that gonna be? This is, this was the three. It was too small. We're gonna try the three and a half now. See if that works. Perfect. It's very perfect. Okay. Is that good enough? It should be good. Cool. This is what happens when you don't have a chuck key. <laughs> so to install this snorkel, you're gonna have to actually drill into your fender. Yeah, I know, it's kind of, it's kind of intense. Uh, if you've never drilled any holes into your perfect fender, I don't know, but I have a solution. I am gonna go and try it out on somebody else's car before I go and do it on mine. So check this out, guys. Now we took the stencil that came with the uh, snorkel and it was a piece of crap so we had to repuncture the holes so that they would fit up so that they would match the holes and now we put double sided double stick tape double sided stick tape on there and we're gonna put it on the truck and you know start growing. Um. Oh yeah. Take this step drill bit, this one, and go ham. Alright. Go so ham. Let's go so ham. Dang, that was nice. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're gonna take this permanent thread lock and we're gonna put it on the studs and insert them. So about you're gonna do it about halfway and you're gonna wanna be cautious not to tighten it too hard when you're putting them in because it is plastic. How much red did you put in there? Let me see. So about halfway. That's how much third lock you use. So you go about halfway on stud and then all the way down. What are you doing, Dennis? That smells great. Check the holes out. How do they look? He's breaking them. They look like holes. That's good. Good, 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 good. We're gonna take this here thing. We're gonna put it in. Just like this. But keep in mind to not tighten it all the way when you're putting it on, so that way it still has it still can move and you're gonna see later why then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this double-sided stick tape and we're gonna put it right on there right over the bolt holes okay now we're gonna test fit it Okay, so we've got that on there. Now this is the reason why we left it loose. 
so that we can adjust it to where it's needed. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop these off. All right, what are we doing now, Dennis? And now we're putting in these rivets that came with our package. Okay. Make sure you put it on the right way before you put this on. <laughs> that was the right way. That was right. Right. this way, yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. That was dumb enough. <laughs> you're, you're all right. Just make sure you put it on the make right sure way. Make sure you're not drinking anything before you do this. <laughs> Might run into some problems. All right. All right. Oh, I think you broke something. Bone in his hand. Bingo! Nice. I like that. Now we got our silicone paired, and we're gonna silicone around this so it pretty much goes to the body. And we got our bead going. A lot harder than a cocking gun. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we got this thing prepared. We got one pointing this way so we can reach it through where we took out our headlight. And then this one doesn't really matter as long as you can reach it. It's gonna be right there, like that. Now we gotta shove it in there through our little hole that they left us with Lexus. All right. So we got our uh, soapy stuff to help us uh, kind of lubricate it when you know how you're putting stuff into other stuff, you need lubrication. And that's what we're doing here today. So can add some of this. Can never be too much. So now we are uh, got our silicone and our washers that we're putting on our snorkel over there. The uh, reason why we're using the silicone is so the washers don't fall off when, before you put on the nuts. You don't want washers to fall off before you put on the nuts, never. You want to let them know how difficult that's going to be? Or how difficult it's that is? Difficult. Pretty difficult. What do you think, Junior? He's standing in a funny position. So, once you get it on, before it falls off, you want to put on that nut. I'm going to screw this here so that way we can reach our hand in there so we can put the nut on the bolt. So, we finished tightening on the bolts and it was a pain, but we did it. And it's great. We got everything set up. Only thing left to do is what, the, oh my god, Dennis, what are you doing? No, 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 that's not right. I don't, huh? I yeah. don't think that's right. No? Yeah. No. What? What? It's a Lexus. That might be, that might be later. Aren't Lexus is different? No? No, no, I, I, I think this is what you're looking for, buddy. Ah. Right, right, right here. Oh my. Yeah. That's, that's what you're looking for. Huge shout out to Pillar Signs and Graphics for 
supplying me with those stickers. That was sweet. I just want to do a special thank you to my brother Junior and my brother Dennis for helping me out with this. Um, all right, everybody, that concludes another video from Broken Wrench Adventure. Thank you very much. Now you know how to install a snorkel. Um, don't forget to like the video, and uh, if you didn't like it, um, you still should like it. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, don't forget to check out the Facebook page. Put some more likes up there. There's no unlike buttons on there, so it's pretty, pretty convenient for us. And, uh, yeah. Comment, you know, leave some feedback for us. Um, also, our Broken Wrench Adventure stickers. You know, if you'd like to support us, go right and, on. And uh, subscribe, of course, if you want to see more cool videos.